The air defenses of Russia are likely the most formidable in the world, thanks to their powerful systems that continue to evolve to meet new threats. However, they are still far from becoming an impenetrable bubble for their enemies, especially if on the opposing side we encounter the most advanced fighter jet in history. We are talking about the F-35 Lightning II, the latest combat aircraft built by the United States, which poses a real competition to the current S-400 and the future S-500 systems in Moscow. For that reason, in this new video on military aviation, we will aim to learn more about each of the systems in the hands of these two major superpowers and thus discover which one would emerge victorious in a battle. As a starting point, it's best to review the main characteristics of our opponents to understand what makes them so unique. The S-400 Triumph has been recognized as the most sophisticated anti-aircraft defense system today. Designed by the company Almazanti, it features four types of missiles that allow it to neutralize targets within a range from 40 to 400 kilometers and at altitudes below 30 kilometers. In addition, its 91N6E3D radar has a range of 600 kilometers to detect incoming threats and can display up to 300 targets simultaneously. It is capable of taking down drones, guided bombs, ballistic or cruise missiles, and military aircraft. Furthermore, according to its developers, it has high resistance to interference to increase precision against modern rivals. However, despite all its credentials, the S-400 has already had the opportunity to operate near US F-35s and failed to detect them. This occurred in Syria, where fifth-generation fighters flew over areas covered by the Russian system without being seen within a range greater than 200 kilometers. Nevertheless, Washington is far from declaring victory in that incident. On the contrary, it strongly opposes both designs operating close to each other, fearing that the F-35 might explore the features of its aircraft and uncover its secrets. In fact, there was a clear example of this in 2019, Turkey had everything agreed with the United States for the acquisition of the F-35 fighter, but that contract was cancelled when the negotiations between the Turks and Russians for the S-400 became known. According to the U.S. government, it was highly likely that the technologies used in these anti-aircraft defense systems could be used to capture sensitive information about the systems installed in military aircraft, allowing Russia access to that data. In this regard, David Stupples, an expert in radars and electronic warfare at the University of London and the Association of Old Crows, pointed out that the S-400 radars could observe the F-35 and all its flight profiles, thus identifying the weaknesses of its stealth. That said, while that information could be crucial for the current Kremlin anti-air system, it would likely be even more relevant for the next generation. This is the S-500 Prometheus, designed specifically to counter fifth-generation fighter jets and their stealth capabilities. Like its predecessor, the new system was designed to be able to overcome the threats of ballistic and cruise missiles, but it adds modern radars to counter the fuselages of stealth aircraft and low-Earth orbit satellites. It is expected to operate with four long-range surface-to-air missiles or two interceptors in tubes mounted on a launcher vehicle. According to the Center for International and Strategic Studies, the first of these projectiles can travel a distance of 400 kilometers, while the interceptors would reach approximately 600 kilometers. Additionally, the complex has four radar vehicles per battery that, when working together, will allow the S-500 to detect ballistic targets up to a distance of 2,000 kilometers and aerial threats such as aircraft up to 800 kilometers away. But most importantly, officials in Moscow indicated that the Prometheus has the necessary technology to take down next-generation fighter jets, including the American F-35. Now, it's time to switch sides and discover what tools the Pentagon has to combat the powerful defense of its historic rival. Since the F-117 Nighthawk project, the United States has been obsessed with invisible aircraft, although time has shown the difficulties that this goal can entail. The F-35 is a single-seat, single-engine multi-role fighter designed by Lockheed Martin, which took a step back in terms of speed and agility when considering the great features of older F-22s. However, it prioritized a strong weapon load and the most advanced stealth technology, making it the most modern in the world. 
The aircraft has not been able to avoid problems with its heat signature at supersonic speeds or the design of its fuselage, but it has still maintained a high level of stealth and features avionics that cannot be compared to any other aerial fighter. Its ASA and slash APG-81 radar allows it to create a high-resolution map of the terrain to detect the presence of enemies, such as Russia's S-400 or S-500, and also integrates advanced electronic warfare functions, such as the ASQ-239 system capable of jamming enemy radars in communications with 10 times more power than any other current aircraft. Despite some analysts declaring that stealth capabilities are a fruitless and expensive path for the U.S. Air Force, retired Navy Rear Admiral Dan Flatley said that pilots of the most expensive weapon system in the United States are not afraid of rival defenses. Flatley stated, adversaries have to build a chain of death, and the fact that a radar can find an object doesn't mean it can track, target, and carry out the attack with a missile. We're not trying to prevent every aspect of that chain, we're just trying to break one link. In this way, he admits that an advanced system like the S-400 or its future replacements could detect the F-35, but these developments would only provide a brief and insufficient glimpse to successfully destroy it. The former pilot also added, that's what people don't understand. They think we're saying we're invisible to everyone, all the time, and in all bandwidths. But we only need those who invested tons of time, money, and effort in trying to shoot us down to not be able to finish the job. Both Flatley and other operators of the US fighter joke that only Wonder Woman has an invisible jet, and instead, the F-35 is a massive flying piece of alloy and metal that, if a radar happens to be pointing in the right place at the right time, will definitely be detected. However, the real and significant challenge for the Russians would be to shoot it down. Meanwhile, as enemy systems scan the skies for any trace of the aircraft, it will be able to see all those radar emissions and identify enemy air defenses. In this scenario, the only chance left for the Russians is to overcome the low visibility of stealth aircraft by developing a tight network integrated with multiple radars that share information and attempt to look at the same target from different directions to provide a clearer picture and attack with precision. However, this requires a significant investment, and Moscow is not in the best position to undertake it since February 2022, having depleted many of its material resources and funds in the war efforts in Ukraine. Given this, the lack of funds also seems to be a key factor in deducing that it is unlikely that a large-scale production of their newest 500 systems will be launched, presenting an uncertain outlook for when the most powerful weapon to combat the F-35 could be operational. On the other hand, the United States sees this platform as its primary offensive asset for the future. Since mid-2020, the Pentagon awarded Lockheed Martin a contract to develop a structural modification in the fighter jet to enhance its capability for suppression of enemy air defenses SAD, or destruction of enemy air defenses dead, missions, commonly known as SAD or dead missions. The goal was for the company to undertake the necessary engineering for a modification that would allow the integration of new munitions and sensors. Based on this strategy, U.S. forces plan to deploy their guided anti-radiation missile AGM-88E, a successor to the harm, capable of disabling the defensive potential of their adversaries. Due to all its features, it is likely that the F-35 Lightning II of the U.S. forces will be the primary assets to carry out the task of detecting and attacking both mobile and stationary anti-air threats in the coming decade. Meanwhile, Russia will continue working to improve its defensive systems, as for now, it seems far from being a real and consistent threat to the most advanced fighters on the planet. And with that, we reached the end of this video, but we don't want to leave without hearing your opinion. Do you think the Russian S-500 could effectively detect and destroy the F-35? Leave us your answer in the comments section. Now it's time to say goodbye. Thank you very much for joining us until the end. Stay tuned to our channel to meet again in the next video.